Welcome to my world. Grabbed my Dollar Tree bucket because we're going to deep clean my dining room and TV room floors today. I mop them every other day, but we're going to do a deep clean with some pine saw. I usually do this a few times a year and not often enough. They weren't refinished the floors when we came in, so I just do what I can and do what I need to do. If you are new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. We have a clean with me player list for you to enjoy. Right about to that line, I put some hot water in here. I'm going to be using my products from Dollar Tree. First thing I'm going to do is move the table and chairs out of the way. Rarely ever move the people out of the way, but here's the floor. I'm gonna sweep first and then change the camera angle. Some scenes are gonna be fast forward. I'm gonna do a sweep first. I'm gonna sweep the entire area, including some of the side areas in between furniture, like that buffet that you see. I moved the big bag of mulch that we put into the gerbil's cage. It is soft pine that we pick up at Pet Smart or Pet Co, depending on who has it, who has the best price. Walmart no longer carries it. We haven't seen it in there in a few years. Disappear for a second. Then I'm going to stand in the middle of the floor and just show you what it really looks like without the table there. These floors are very old, probably at least 20 years old. They were not refinished when we moved in. I'm going to grab my pine saw so I disappear for a minute. I'm going to do a light clean with the bang first, and then we're going to do a deep clean with the pine saw and the bucket of hot water. On to the mopping, I'm going to use the bang on the floors first before I even touch the bucket of water with the pine saw, just to give it an extra deep clean. I'm going to get all over, and then we'll move that table back and do the opposite side and put the pine saw into the bucket. This is the pine saw. I picked up its lemon scent, 10.75 ounces. That's all you need. About a tablespoon. I'm going to dip my Swiffer. If you were going to use a regular mop pad, you could. If you watch my cleaning videos, Monday Motivation, and get it all done, you know I do the floors on a regular basis. We're just doing an actual deep clean today with this pine saw from Dollar Tree that I wanted to try out. Large back and forth motions and then short strokes to go all over the entire area of the hardwood floors. And again, that table is going to be moved so we can deep clean the floors in the TV room. Just back and forth, short and long motions to get the entire area done. And in a moment, I will show you how dirty the mop head was. 
and I'll be discarding that one and using a different one into the TV room so it's not used again. Look at how dirty that was. It needed a good deep cleaning. No messy mop head to wash either. You just toss it out into the garbage. Now I'm going to move the table back and do the other side. You need to be relatively quiet. All the neighbors are home. I don't think the lady in the basement can hear because the basement is directly underneath this utility room is and the older lady. So after nine is when I usually start my deep cleaning. The table is back to the center of the room. I'm going to adjust my camera. I'm going to do a full sweep and shake the rug and move the chairs. We can move the chairs out of the way, put the mulch back. Move the rug out of the way. Now we're going to do a sweep in here and the rug's going to stay away until the floors are completely dry. I want to put the rug back down on a wet floor and I have to wash it. I do wash the rug every couple of weeks, including the one into the bedroom that used to be in here. I love this sage green one. I'm going to change camera angles once again and we're going to do the bang in here just like we did the dining area, including that one side where the table was standing on for a few minutes while we deep cleaned that part of the dining area. So we're going to get the TV room plus the leftover floor space that the table was on. I'm going to do a, just a back and forth glide motion and we'll get the floors uh, clean before we start dipping it into the bucket with the pine saw. That was a really good buy, the pine saw. Got five gallons. Really great buy from the Dollar Tree. I really like their Swiffer. I don't like the national brand Swiffer because you have to buy their products and you cannot open those containers. There are hacks to do so, but it's very difficult to use your own cleaner. This way I can use the Dollar Tree cleaner and I can save up to 75% off on cleaning products if I buy them at Dollar Tree rather than Walmart or buying any kind of national brand elsewhere. They have tons and tons of national brands at Dollar Tree. My favorite, though, is the LA Totally Awesome Bang, the purple bottle and the orange bottle. And if you watch the inventory video on my cleaning supplies, you know that I am stocked for a while. That's why I have not been buying it, but I am looking for the little clips for the toilet by Lysol. And they biodegrade and fall right into your toilet, and you don't have to worry about taking them out. And I also use those thousand flushes in my toilet for in-between cleans and it works really well. You shouldn't overclean your toilet with those chemicals with your family. It isn't safe, but I always wipe it down after I've sprayed with the bang to make sure it's completely clean and ready for the day of the toilet. We usually do the toilet first thing in the morning. Sometimes in the afternoon I do a touch-up. I'm really impressed with how well this pine saw works. Just a tablespoon. I used to use spick and span all the time on my floors like my grandmother did and my mother did before me, but I'm going to use this pine saw and it's so easy to set up and do. And the floors look really nice and clean and shiny as you can see here. You'll see a final view towards the end of the video with some 
information about our giveaways. We've updated our giveaways and we're going to be giving away Amazon gift cards, eBay, as well as a Walmart gift card. If that's what you'd like rather than a Dollar Tree one every 100 subscribers and I'll explain further. Also in my description box is a list of the rules of our giveaways. So I'm going to move the bucket so I can get over here and we're almost done. Just light back and forth motions on the floors. Not a lot of work. Very effortless. And since I'm in here, I'm going to wipe down the coffee table here, which is my little memory chest that I used to have in my dormitory way back when in the college. I'm going to move it out of the way too so we can mop underneath it because that's the only area of the floor I didn't get. Just to the side quietly, grab the Swiffer Wet and mop that little spot there. I noticed something on the floor, a tag to something that I picked up. Make sure it goes into the garbage and dipping it into the mop bucket. And we'll discard some dirty water when we're done. There's that tag. I'll go right into the garbage. The Swiffer glides everywhere. It is awesome. You can use the Swiffer to clean walls, clean your shower walls, and clean your oven walls so you don't have to do a lot of bending. I recently discovered that and I was really thrilled because I have mobility problems and I can't do too, too much back bending because the rest of the day I'm in a lot of pain if I do a lot and overdo it. I'm just going to get over here on the side and in the front of it. That board was broken before we moved in and that's why I keep a rug over it. It's not broken to the point where anything bad's going to happen. It's just a pain in the butt if you accidentally step on it. This house is 145 years old. It used to be a general store about 50 years ago. The lady downstairs, the older lady, has been here for about 40 years. And look at how dirty that floor was. And we got it nice and clean with the pine saw from uh, the Dollar Tree. Grab some pine saw from the Dollar Tree. You get a lot more than it looks, even with the bottle size. I think it does five gallons. Awesome. You saw how clean the floors came. I'll show you a close-up before we go. If you're new, don't forget to smash on that subscribe word. I use a lot of Dollar Tree products from their cleaning tools to their buckets to their cleaners, name brands. Every 100 subscribers, we give out gift cards. We're now including Amazon, eBay, and Walmart. $10 intervals. We give out two every 100 subscribers. If you've won in the past 60 days, you have to wait that out. If you've won and you don't answer within two, you'll be disqualified. We're now delivering some gift cards via email to make things easier for you guys. We're not responsible for the lots of stolen prizes within the mail. My email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. If you're new, make sure you check out my description box. We have links to our Facebook page and group for you to like and join, as well as our social sites and players lists, including TikTok and Pinterest. Thank you so much for your continuing ongoing support. Keep clean great room and the TV room hardwood floors today. I'll be doing another deep cleaning in the kitchen soon and doing the floors and the walls. So keep your eyes out for that. Stay tuned and make sure you do subscribe. Floors dry. I'll put the rug back and I'll discard the dirty water into my tub. And here's a close up. Okay. You have any suggestions? For the stickers on the floor, please let me know. I don't know if a butter knife would damage these floors that are already at least 15 to 20 years old. 